Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, Carlos. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? Okay. okay, let's check attendance. Adrián Erasmo. Present. Okay. Ana Beatriz. Andrea Cecilia. Present. Okay. Brenda Guadalupe, Brenda Isabel, present, ok, Carla, ok, Carlos Ricardo, present, excelente, Carlos Roberto, present, excelente, Cecia Beatriz, Darlene y Stephanie. Denis Giovanni. Denis. No. Edith Vanessa. Present. Excelente. Fátima Margarita. Present. Ok. Ok, ya se lo mandó Adrián. Eh, Flavio. Present. Ok. Gabriela Maribel. Present. Excelente. Carla Susena. Present. Excelente. Carla Vanessa. Present. Great. Luis Evan Nilsson. Present. Excellent. Marvin Alexander. Present, teacher. Great. Miguel Antonio. Yes, present. Okay. Nancy Yacel. Present. Okay. Nancy Soledad. Present. Excellent. Nora Eloisa. Pamela Noemí. Raquel Abigail. Richard Joel. Present. Ok. Robert Adalberto. Present. Great. Ronnie Alexander. Present. Excellent. Roxana. Roxana Francisca. Jamie Marisol. Darling. Present. Denis Giovanni. Ana Beatriz. Cecia. Present. Present. Ok.
Eh, le voy a, les voy a compartir el link de este, uh, espérenme, que no sé si les envié el otro. De, sí, este del otro, wait, 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 eso no es. Eh, del el canal de YouTube, ahí están todas las clases. Gracias, teacher. Grabado. Pero no es ese, espérenme, le voy a mandar el correcto. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Sí. Eso es por si necesitan repasar algo o si entraron tarde o estuvieron solo de oyentes o medio enfermos. El segundo es el correcto. Quiero ver. Only let me check if it is the correct. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, today we're going to um, go to practice the frequency adverbs or the adverbs of frequency. And that that will be the topic for today. Okay, yesterday we uh, learned about countable and non-countable, right? And okay, today we have adverbs of frequency. Así como lo dice su nombre, okay, frequency is because we do something regularly okay like um, several times uh, in a period of time for example uh, you can measure how many times you do something daily uh, weekly monthly okay every year esos podrían ser como los period periods of time so you have to establish what is the period of time that you uh, uh, like a parameter okay and you can use um, all all of the frequency adverbs uh, with all the periods of time okay for example if you do do this activity or like a routine and you do it a hundred percent of the times okay you say you can use the adverb always okay always if you do something like a 90 percent not always but most of the times okay, you can say usually Okay, usually. A seventy percent, you can use often. Okay, often is like a menudo. Okay, it's often. He often cooks pasta. Okay, it's mean. It means um, que no siempre come pasta, que no es eh, no es normal, pero que sí lo hace seguido. That's often. Then we have 50%. Aquí faltan algunos frequency adverbs. Eh, hay, hay más. Estos son, digamos, que los más usados. Um, the 50%, okay, sometimes, sometimes. 10%, hardly ever, okay, hardly ever, or rarely, rarely. Eh, también tenemos, tendríamos por acá, seldom. Seldom. And zero percent, o sea que nunca la hace, sería never. And here we have the examples. Okay, you are always late. 
We usually go to the cinema on Sunday. He often cooks pasta. We sometimes order pizza for dinner. She hardly ever smiles. They are never at home when we call. Okay, so these are the examples. And you can see the position of the frequency adverb in the sentence. Okay, lo vamos a ubicar. Eh, well, most of the times. Mire, right um, after the pronoun. Entonces vamos a decir el subject, que sería lo que tenemos aquí, esta, esta que tenemos acá. In a positive statement, subject, Okay, que podría ser we, he, she, they. The frequency adverb, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever. And the verb. Okay, lo, la acción, lo que hace. Go, cooks, order, smiles. Mm, bueno, y solamente cuando tenemos el verb to be, Ok, que sería el segundo ejemplo. Siempre en positive statements, iniciamos con el subject. Luego iríamos con el verb to be. Ok, you are. They are. Y luego iríamos con el frequency adverb. Never at home. Always late. Ok, entonces ahí sería eh, un poquito diferente because... We are going to use the verb to be. Entonces, recuerde que el verb to be no lo podemos separar de el subject. Siempre tiene que ir junto. Ese es como el orden que debe llevar siempre. Y luego, también hay otras posiciones en las que podemos usar sometimes. Y creo que eso... I think it's in here. Um, yes, aquí está, sometimes. ¿Sí ve? Sometimes, en este ejemplo de acá, está at the beginning of the sentence. O sea, right before the subject. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Okay, so this, the, only this, only this adverb of frequency, you can move of positions. Also, you, um, no, es, no aparece aquí el ejemplo, pero también sometimes se puede utilizar at the end of the sentence. For example, I can say, I eat breakfast sometimes. Okay, entonces, este es el único que podemos mover o cambiar en estas tres posiciones que les acabo de mencionar. Que okay, I sometimes eat breakfast, sometimes I eat breakfast, or I eat breakfast sometimes. Ok. Eh, luego seguiríamos las mismas reglas que acabamos de ver, dependiendo del tipo de verbo que vamos a usar. And, uh, ok, let's do some examples. Okay, tell me a sentence using an adverb. Uh, let us start with Carlos, Ricardo. Tell me an example, please. Hey, uh, my example is... Um, I, no. I always. Uh -huh. mm. el verbo? Cooking breakfast. Ok. Pues... Muy bien. Recuerden que como cuando estamos hablando de rutinas, vamos a utilizar simple present. Presente simple. Entonces nuestro verbo tiene que estar en simple present. Sería I always cook. Cook. Cook breakfast. Ajá. Uh -huh. I always cook breakfast. Y ahí podemos añadir los marcadores de tiempo que vimos. Por ejemplo, in the morning. 
or uh, on weekends. Sí vimos esos marcadores de tiempo, ¿verdad? Con ustedes. Sí, los hemos estado viendo. Say yes. Yes. <ríe> sí, o sea, vimos que, sí, lo vimos cuando ya me acordé. Cuando, cuando les presenté cómo, cuando íbamos a utilizar el simple present. Y ahí les presenté esos marcadores de tiempo. Yes. I remember. So try to use it. Porque eso, como les decía yo, nos da la pauta o refuerza, por decirlo así, que estamos usando el simple present. Ok, now, eh, Edith, give me your example, please. I always drink coffee. I always drink coffee. Ok, I always drink coffee in the morning. Or I always drink coffee uh, at breakfast. Ok. Um, let's continue with Carlos eh, Quintanilla. De micrófono. El micrófono, perdón. <laughs> eh, I often get up early in the week. Uh, sería. On the week. From, from Monday. From Monday to Friday. On the weekend. On the weekend. Ah, on the weekend. Okay, yes. again. I often uh, get up early in the weekend. On the weekend. On, on the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekends. Porque como lo hacemos, digamos que lo hacemos todos los fines de semana. On the weekend. Okay. Or on weekends. On weekends. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with Brenda Isabel. I sometimes have pancake for breakfast. Okay, I sometimes help 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 pancake for breakfast. Have. Have. I always have pancakes for breakfast. Okay. Muy bien. Adrián, can you tell me your sentence, please? I often read a book and always play video games. Okay. En este caso, como... Okay, darling. En este caso, como estamos usando dos adverbs diferentes, eh, tendrían que ser como oraciones separadas. Entonces, le faltaría en la segunda el sujeto. Eso sería, I often read books. Mm, And I... o, 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 podemos, o podemos iniciar con el always. Y después con el often, como I always play video games. And, but, or ahí podríamos usar algo como que nos haga un poco de contraste, porque es algo que no hacemos siempre. Okay, but eh, I often read, read a book. Okay, algo así podríamos dejarlo. Entonces, cuando queremos ocupar, digamos, dos... Así, Ajá, que llama? dos frequency adverbs, como ah. no son los mismos, eh, y en especial estos que, digamos, son como no muy similares, no es como decir, por ejemplo, always and usually, que están como cercanos. Entonces, digamos que ah, tienen una diferencia significativa. Entonces, no podríamos utilizar and en este caso ok Ajá. creo que vimos, sí ya vimos con ustedes eh, las como las palabras las conjunciones si sí, vimos las conjunciones vimos and, but cuando las íbamos a utilizar es sí sí las vimos dijimos que and cuando íbamos a añadir información o cuando íbamos a continuar la misma idea si era una idea positiva con otra positiva. ¿Por qué lo veo perdido? 
<risa> no y estoy segura. Y dijimos que bat, vimos, sí, vimos and, vimos bat, creo que solo esas dos. Eh, que bat, por ejemplo, lo vamos a utilizar cuando tenemos ideas opuestas o contrarias, o cuando queremos hacer una diferencia entre la primera idea y la segunda que estamos planteando. ¿Qué sería este caso que, del ejemplo de Adrián? You are not sure. Well, si no, ahí está. Ok. Mm. Carla. Carla Azucena, your example. Um, I usually go, go, for, go for a walk in the afternoon. Okay, yes, correct. Okay, Andrea. Sometimes I have meal for dinner. Okay, yes. Richard. Richard. Hello. Your example, okay. Richard. I usually eat pupus on weekend. Okay, yes, correct. Okay. Ese sería casi que always. <laughs> Oscar. Que okay, Fátima. I always study after class. Excellent. And it's true. Yes. Que okay, I always study after class. Okay. Great. Que okay, Dennis. Uh, I always watch TV at night. Ok. No nos salió tan aplicado como Fatim. Ok. Don't worry. No problem. Ok, Brenda Guadalupe. I never have breakfast. Ok. Never have breakfast. I usually drink, drink green tea for the breakfast. Ok, ok, excelente. Robert. Uh, I always exercise in the afternoon. Ok, excelente. I hope you are saying the truth. Hay real examples, right? Ok, Marvin. Ok. And... I usually run in the morning. Okay, okay. Cecia. I always watch movies. Okay. At home or at the movie theater. Um, Gabriela. Sí, teacher. I always play with my daughter. Daughter. Uh, perdón. Ok. Ronnie. I often present a report. Ok. I often present a report. At work. Correcto. Ok. Nancy. Uh, I always sleep in the afternoon. Ay, great. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, who is missing? Quiero ver. The other Nancy. Yes, Nancy Garay. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I walk into the park. Okay, sometimes I walk to I walk to the park. 
Ok, ahí podríamos añadir un weekends o in the afternoon. In the afternoon. No. Ok. No, no me di. Ana Beatriz. I usually drive to home. Ok, excellent. ¿Qué, Raquel? Ahí bien calladito, ¿verdad? A ver, Luis de Nilsson. Pregunté, who is missing? Ajá, nadie dijo nada. Solo Nancy. She's honest. I never eat salad. Ok. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> ok. Excellent. Then, nobody else is missing? I think it's clear, this part. Do you have questions? No? I never drink soda. I, I never drink soda. Pero vosotros, okay. ellos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do the exercises. It's exercise 4.9. The, on scramble the sentences write each sentence in the correct order okay number one edit I hardly ever eat at work okay I hardly ever eat yes at work at work okay okay excellent luis number two teacher no falta snacks ahí quiero ver i hardly ever eat yeah, snacks yes okay yeah. Thank you. I sometimes uh, eat pasta for dinner. For dinner? Dinner. Okay. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Okay, number three, Carlos Quintanilla. I, I often Mm -hmm. I often have, have dinner with my family. Excellent. Okay. Great. Yes. Okay, put the adverbs in the correct places. What do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, these are other examples. Okay, let's practice them. Okay, Nancy Rosales. Um, sería la segunda. Well. Vamos a poner eh, los adverbios, los vamos a agregar en donde corresponden en la oración. Este, well, I 
que ver. Often, será sí, often. I have. Yes, I often. I have coffee. I, I often have. I often have coffee, cereal, um, juice, cereal, juice, 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 perdón. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ok, Ana Beatriz, next. Ah, uh, wait. Porque no hemos visto las questions. Solo vimos las eh, positive statements. Ok. Para las questions vamos a utilizar auxiliares do okay, or does. ¿Verdad? Si, dependiendo del sujeto. Ok. Do you. Uh, iniciamos con auxiliary. Luego seguimos con el subject y luego eh, seguiríamos con lo mismo así como en nuestra en nuestra oración ok eh, frequency adverb eh, verb and the complement ok do you ever have fish for breakfast y luego tenemos the short answers yes I always do or sometimes I do no I never do y recuerde que tenemos una yes no question cuando agregamos do or does. Um, for example, does your sister go to the gym um, every day? Ok, entonces aquí dependiendo del sujeto vamos a utilizar do or does. Y creo que también... Okay, here is the okay, at the end we have the question how we are going to form a question okay, empezamos con el auxiliary así como teníamos oraciones donde íbamos a utilizar el verb to be también tenemos preguntas donde podemos utilizar el verb to be. Ok, entonces, normalmente sería auxiliary, que es la que acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? Do or does, subject and frequency adverb, and then the complement. But, when you have, um, or when you use the verb to be, ok, you are going to start with the verb to be. Are you always late? Okay. Um, is your mother um, usually cooking? Aunque ese sería, no, ese sería otro tiempo ya. Yeah. Is your mother uh, usually happy? Aquí sería igual, dependiendo del sujeto, así voy a modificar el verb to be. Y igual con el auxiliary. Okay, puede ser do o puede ser does. Does he often cook? Ok, now let's do examples of questions. Okay, let's do examples of questions. Okay, can you type your question, please? Ya sea con do o con does, or con verb to be. Type your example on the chat, please. Okay. 
Does he usually breakfast have? Se comió el have. Does he usually have breakfast in the morning? Does she always cook? Okay. Do you ever have meat? Mm, este meat is the carne, Carlos Ricardo. Okay, sería entonces meat. Do you ever, um, aunque no hemos visto el ever, um, cuando usamos el ever, es más como si alguna vez en la vida lo ha hecho, pero no es como un frequency adverb. Sí, cuando, puede, cuando decimos, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, hardly ever, hardly ever, ahí sí, pero only ever, it's more um, como para, para otro tipo de, o sea, no sería un frequency adverb. He does he usually have breakfast in the morning? Do you ever what does she some does she sometimes work on Saturdays? Do you usually eat como que eat pan? A pan is una cacerola. Se le fue el el translator. Bread. Sería bread. Do you... Okay. Do you always exercise? Okay. Do you usually go to the movies? Are you always... Aquí sería con el auxiliary, Flavio. Do you always take a shower every day? Porque estamos utilizando otro verbo, que no es el verbo to be, sino que el verbo sería take. Well, take a shower. Take a shower. Does he always run? Do you always go out to play? Okay. I usually go to the gym. Pero en la, la pregunta sería, Denis, because that's a statement. Y ahorita estamos con questions. Do you? Aquí se sería con are, Fatima. Are you always happy? Or are you always busy? Are you always angry? Or are you usually sad? Cuando estamos hablando de estados, recuerden que vamos a usar verb to be cuando hablamos de estados. Mm -hmm. Are you always happy? Okay, yes. That's correct. Okay. So, so. I think I uh, some examples are missing. But do you have questions about this part? Do you have questions about the questions? Using frequency adverbs? No. All clear. ¿Cómo? All clear. All clear. Wow, Excellent. 
Ah, es que aquí está con ever el ejemplo. Ya vi por qué lo estaban usando. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Que okay. si se recuerdan, este está, pas está basado en la conversación de que ella nunca había probado el pescado. Ok. Entonces, y, y, y and she said that she uh, wanted to taste something new. Or to... A ver... I like to try new things. Ok, so based on that, they are making this question using ever because and we use ever for your first experience. Ok, uh, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Es como si alguna vez has. Eso, eso, eso sería. Ok, pero también así como lo, lo hicimos. That's that's the way. That's the idea. If you if you include more specific uh, a more specific frequency adverb, que ya directamente into the question. Okay, entonces ahora sí podríamos hacer este ejemplo que sería el number three. A volunteer. Yes. Yes, is it? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Okay, yes, thank you. Next, Adrian, number four. I have, or, well. I, I sometimes have breakfast. At my desk. At my desk, yes. At my desk. Yes, correct. Okay, next, Flavio. Ariel, do you... Yes. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? For breakfast. Okay, Brenda, Isabel. No, no, I hardly ever had price. Excellent, yes. And then we have the exercise that we already did. We have, um, okay, let's take a look at these questions. What time do you usually eat? Okay, let's pick um, two of those questions and you're going to select someone or only one, only one. Pick one, uh, choose a complement for the question and you're going to pick a classmate to ask one of, of, of these questions. Okay, for example, I can say, okay, try to, to ask different things, not the same, right? Okay, let's see, let us start with Cecia. What do you usually drink for breakfast? What do you usually drink for breakfast? Y ahí me dan respuestas largas, no me vayan a dar respuesta corta. Eh, Luisa de Nilsson. What do you usually drink for breakfast? I drink coffee with sugar and milk. I usually drink, respuesta larga. Again? I usually drink coffee with milk and sugar. Okay, excellent. Now, 
Luis, you are going to pick another, another classmate and another question. Usted va a elegir a quién le va a preguntar y, y la pregunta. Okay. Raquel Campelos. Raquel, be ready. Okay, the question? Four. Read. Oh, do you ever go to a restaurant for? For, y tiene que seleccionar uno de los tiempos, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Good night. Luis. Oh, do you, sorry, do you ever go to a restaurant for dinner? Okay, Raquel. Raquel. Nancy, same question, Nancy. Eh, dice que si siempre voy a un restaurante, ¿verdad? Do you, okay, dice, do you ever, do uh -huh. you ever go? O sea, esta es como alguna vez. Do you ah, ever go? Alguna uh -huh. vez. Yes. Okay. Yes, I ever go to the restaurant for a dinner. Ok, aquí para la respuesta tendríamos que utilizar un frequency adverb. Okay. Eh, yes, I, y ahí dependiendo de la frecuencia puede ser usually, oh, okay. often, or hardly ever, I don't know. Oh, ya, ya ve. Entonces sería, yes, I, some, sometimes I go to the restaurant. Uh, near my house. Okay. I sometimes go. I sometimes go. To the restaurant. The restaurant. Near my house. Okay. Near my okay. house. Yes. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, now you are going to pick someone else. Who, me? Yes. Okay. Carlos ¿Cuál de los dos? No sé, cualquiera <laughs> Ok, Carlos Quintanilla What, what is the question? What do you usually drink for lunch? Okay. Okay, I I hardly hardly ever uh, drink for lunch. No, but listen to the question. What? what? Ah, sorry. Yes. Mm, I I usually uh, water. I usually drink. I drink for. I drink for the lunch. No, I usually drink water. For lunch. I usually, okay, yes. Again? Okay, I uh, I usually drink water uh, for lunch. Okay, respuesta definitiva? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now the last one, pick someone else. Hmm. Mm, no sé. A su tocayo, güey. Ok. <ríe> eh, do you usually eat breakfast? Um, I usually been in breakfast. ¿Puede ser? Mm, a ver, make the question again. 
We the question. <laughs> what is the question? Do you usually eat breakfast? Uh, yes, I usually eat. Yes. <laughs> breakfast in the breakfast in the moment. Okay. <laughs> yes. Great. Sí, aquí podría también haber sido do you usually eat um, eggs for breakfast or do you usually eat chicken for lunch? Okay, también así podríamos hacerlas. Okay. Yes. Ya veo que sí. Now, now uh, we're going to make the last exercise, which is a reading. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll read an article. Of, you will all on New Year's Day. Many people eat special. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Were you listening, right? Did you listen? The reading? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now let's answer the questions. Well, do you have questions about um, vocabulary? We have some words that are proper names of the country, like Basilo, Basilo eso. Okay, that's the name of the food. Okay, so uh, some words are rare because they are uh, originally or um, dishes from that country. No. Okay. The last exercise. Okay, read the article and select the word and complete each sentence. Okay. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. The tangerines are Round on <laughs> round. Yes. Okay, are round like years. Like years, yes. Some Jew Jewish people eat apples with. Honey for a sweet year. Honey. Honey for a sweet year. Okay. Greeks eat basilopita bread with a coin. 
a coin inside. Ojalá que no le salga porque a coin. At least Mexican, it's only a plastic doll. But a coin, you have to be careful. In number four, in people eat 12 grapes. Spain. Spain. Okay, in Spain, people eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. Japanese eat rice. Rice. Rice cake for strength in the new year. Okay. Some Americans eat black eyed peas. No la banda musical. Okay, black eyed peas are like Coins. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, that's the last exercise for section four. Realmente esta está bien corta, super corta. Traten de terminarla como que ya casi. Tomorrow we're going to start section five because on Thursday you have to finish section four, que esta la hacen in today if you didn't finish. And the 50% of section five. Así que tomorrow we're going to continue with section five. Do you have questions? No. No. All right. Um, yes, this will be for today, tomorrow, for tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Denis Giovanni. Ancient teacher. Okay. Nora Loisa. Pamela Noemi. No. Raquel Abigail. Roxana Francisca and Jamie Marisol. Present. Okay. Wait, we have two more minutes. So let's do more examples. Ah, ya me acordé que les tenía un exercise here. But in two minutes, se lo voy a mandar. Vamos a hacer, I think, only two, and then you can complete to practice. Okay, which sentence is correct? Or teacher is often late, or teacher often is late, is often or teacher late, often or teacher is late. Which one is the correct? A, B, C, or D? C. <laughs> Okay, are you sure? The rest, are you agree? Letter D. Letter? Letter B. Letter D. Letter B. B or D? D. B. Okay, or teacher often is late. Okay. No. B. Yes. Vaya, se lo voy a mandar para que lo terminen de realizar.
Ok. Nos quedaríamos a esta acá. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.